just spilled coffee literally all over myself and I lost all three trades I put in. And this is why we start with like $30 bids um, in the morning, you know? Okay, so don't mind the coffee all over my shirt. I'm just vibing. I'm trying to figure out where to start here, but I'm starting by ripping my dab pen. So I have some updates. Um, I really should like change and get it together for this video considering it's my first video back, but I feel like this is more of a representation of how shit's been going. So I'm just gonna leave the messy look, the fit I've been wearing for 24 hours, my blue light glasses, my hair up, like I don't care anymore. Last time you guys saw me, I was living in Maybe I shouldn't say that aloud. The town was not only spooky because of all the witches, but it was also spooky because my roommates were fucking tapped. Not all of them. I love two of y'all. Two and a half. Because my sublet was alright. <laughs> I won't get into big details, but my lease was ending at the end of July. And around mid-April, I was like, I don't want to be here anymore. First of all, my commute was literal hell. I was driving... I was either driving like an hour and a half um, straight into work or I was driving to the T station and then take like that was like 25 minutes and then the T was another 35 minutes and then like walking like it was just it was too fucking mud. So I want to live closer to my work. Um, that was my first instinct. Second instinct I was like the cops literally keep showing up on our house. Um, this girl's dating an abusive boyfriend and then she's becoming um, yeah, it was a shit show. Started like two roommates like just hate each other. They were best friends and now they hate each other. They're fighting. I'm like trying to get keep the peace. I'm at work texting and I just I'm crying at my desk. Like I'm in the bathroom crying. I'm like y'all are fucking tapped and I gotta go. And literally <laughs> that Friday I was like fuck y'all. I will find a sublet and I will go live at my mom's house until I get a new apartment. I'm out of here. And in 48 hours, I packed up all my shit. I got a U-Haul <laughs> and that was out. There was girls um, on the lease that were like staying for the next year. So they were already trying to get new roommates. So I texted like two of them and I was like, y'all trying to move in early? And they're like, dope. I'm like, dope. So I'm not paying rent for no reason. That was pretty sexy, except for the fact that I was driving all the way from like the border of New Hampshire to Boston for work. So that was actually the worst thing ever. I was waking up at like the crack of dawn to get to work. Like I would take the train when my car would break down. The train was literally almost like two hours. Like uh, fast forward, what, like two months? It's like May, um, talking to my boyfriend, Travis, his two best friends, Aaron and Kyle, which are now my besties too and they are trying to move out they are both a year older than me and travis so me and travis already wanted to move out they were like let's, let's get on it so we toured a bunch of apart well actually we didn't tour that many <laughs> we found this apartment that we're currently in it has an extra room that we've turned into our game room and then it has an extra like office that we turned to our smoke room and we have two bathrooms we've got this gorgeous living room beautiful light coming in i'm sitting like in my like on the back side of the couch like whatever it's like you know what and i sent the three boys this long text and i was like we just gotta send it like i need to move out so badly i cannot keep commuting over an hour and a half each way to work um i need to fucking get out and they're like all right fuck it and we signed the damn lease and now we're here fast forward three months um we have the summer here we moved in june I've loved literally every little bit of this apartment, of living with my boyfriend, of living with Aaron and Kyle. Like, we be having a ball. Like, every night is a fucking little shindig. Like, we be having a grand old time here. All my homies coming to visit, or my real homies coming to visit. Um, truly goaded. <laughs> You'll never guess what fucking happens next. I'm gonna need, you know what, I'm gonna need this is too much. I have a lot of feelings on the situation I will be discussing momentarily. Does anyone else have the Wii music stuck in their head? Literally 24-7. I worked for a startup. I started at their original company and then I got promoted over to full-time for their startup. And it was 
going. But like I said, I work in the real estate industry. The rental season in, Bo in Boston is kind of, I don't know if it's different than like the rest of the world because I have never rented in the rest of the world. But as for Boston, it is huge on universities. There's a fact down here. Huge on um, working professionals, like young working pros. Um, they're moving here, like starting their new jobs. Anywhere between like May and like September 1st. September 1st is usually like the end because it's like everyone has moved in by like has their leases done for the school year for the new like you know a new like fall cycle it's like very college -y here with real estate it makes sense a little did i know that our startup would be downsizing as well um come september 1st we go to a party like the team throws us a party we're fucking lit i get way too drunk with my coworkers, my fucking girls i love them to pieces comes to be the next day and i am like sick as balls like it's not just a hangover like i have a like head cold like you know the whole shipping and i'm like oh my god do i have covid um so i'm like bugging and i'm sick as balls um we had off friday uh thursday for thursday for the party friday has the weekend it's a holiday Monday. We're back in the office Tuesday. Tuesday rolls around, I'm still sick. And I'm like, oh my God, I think I have COVID. Tuesday, I'm still sick. I'm trying to work from home. Wednesday rolls around, my boss FaceTimes me. I get furloughed because we've run out of money for my department, which is just me. Just me. So just me. Gets furloughed at 10 in the morning, has a COVID test at 11 in the morning, has therapy at 2 p.m. Thank God. Oh boy. I was so chill on the phone. I held that shit down. I was very proud of myself. I was like, it's gonna be okay. It's a furlough. I didn't get fired. I could come back. The world is my oyster. And I already was like, I wanna work from home. I wanna have more time to myself and my stuff. I've been struggling because Travis and I, he works like one to nine and I was working like nine to five. So he'd come home from work, I'd be in bed like getting ready for my day the next day i'd wake up go to work he's like still sleeping it was literally terrible um i mean we made it work we're still kicking it but it was not fun so i was already trying to make some mental pivots for come january and then my plan got paused excuse me my plan executed very quickly and i was not ready for this um discussion considering we just had a party i'd never once this was never discussed. Other people's positions were being changed because they were going back to school, they were whatever. I was never a variable. So I was very blindsided and shook and upset. Yeah, it was literally horrible. I was driving, listening to Donda to my COVID test, like sobbing my fucking brain out. And then I get in the test and they're probably like, are you crying because you're scared of this? And I'm like, no. Yeah, I don't have COVID, I never had COVID. Um, but now I also don't have a job, so. I think it just really, really stung because I was like, I moved here for this job and now I have no job. And my roommate Kyle worked from home. Travis and Aaron don't even work in the city. I'm like, so I made everyone move for me and then I lost my job. So that's how it's been going the past six months. Other than that, I really have no other updates. Um, obviously that was a big fucking burden on me um, and a big shock. I mean, I have no hate for my office i loved my job um but shit happens we'll see if i go back um we'll see if i freelance myself out because that is my goal but i have made peace with not um no i i really actually haven't i'm still kind of pissed off whenever i think about it for too long this vlog really has no purpose besides updating you all on my shit show of an existence and I am trying to figure out what to do from here, where to go in my little endeavors of life, how to get myself out of this rut that already is. The week before getting for a loan, I was literally so like begging the universe for change. I was like, I need something to change here. And I got what I asked for, babe. <laughs> I'm 22. This is not the end of my life. I need to just keep saying that to myself, but I'm young, people have shit happen all the time, I have my degree, I got my diploma back in like March, a um, couple months after I graduated in December. This being said, I am ready to jump back into doing what I love. I remembered how much I loved YouTube and I fell off 
and I remembered how much I loved writing and creating art and I fell off. I fully dove into this full-time job life and I was like, this is my career now. Like, okay, Lauren, it's your first job at college, calm, calm your tits. Essentially, I just wanna say thank you guys if you watch this because it has been a grip since I posted. I just, I just gotta keep pushing. And I stay applying to jobs, I stay applying to unemployment, I stay trading, and I try and not go crazy. But the past six months have really been crazy. I've been in this off here, um, because I don't be doing shit, so I don't really know what to be vlogging. Please hit me with that big subscribe, because I know you want to, and this is not a guilt trip at all. I'm just, <laughs> you know, I just, <laughs> I can fucking use it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, rest of your night, whatever time you guys are watching it. It's like, what, like two here? I should get back to trading. Love you guys. Bye.